Well, today I'm actually working from my bedroom, but yesterday I was working in a cafe and probably tomorrow I'm going to work from a, a co-working space. So that has been the, the biggest change for me in the last few years. Uh, I was working in digital marketing before for a big uh, corporation, and I'm still working in digital marketing today for another big corporation, probably bigger. But I will... I would say what has changed the most in the past uh, just two years actually has been my approach to, to work and my approach to life. So uh, I've been moving from a working experience in, uh, in Sweden, in a very Swedish company, with a, with a type of work typical nine to five. Uh, and then I made a, a shift deciding to to prioritize my life and, and my health compared to, to job, uh, to status, to the idea of success with whom I've been uh, growing up. Um, and now I give myself the possibility to choose the client I work with, when I work, from where I work. And that has been uh, a small but uh, extremely important and big change in my life because it gives me uh, the possibility to be aligned uh, to my values. My values of, of health and freedom uh, above all. So the possibility to still take care of myself uh, while um, doing the job that I truly enjoy and the possibility to be free, uh, free to, to go out for a run in the middle of the day or the freedom of meeting up with a, with a friend and discuss about other business opportunities or other interests that I have right now. Well, the transition has definitely not been easy. I would say it has been a process of four years. I actually been thinking through that uh, quite a lot. The moment I decided to, to quit uh, my previous job to the actual moment when I said I resign, um, well, it has been a four year, <laughs> four year process in between. I had everything in Sweden. Uh, I was really in my comfort zone. So taking the decision of leaving everything behind, the stability, particularly the financial stability, uh, and take this leap of, uh, leap of faith towards <laughs> the unknown, uh, it has not. Uh, it has not been easy for sure. It has been critical uh, taking the time to get in touch with myself again, um, rediscovering my values, understanding my values, and taking the time, you know, uh, to stay to stay with myself. Uh, before, I was probably unsatisfied with the job I had. Uh, also because I was I was not aware about who I was, uh, what I cared about, what what uh, what were my values, and what I wanted to accomplish in life. You know, what is my big purpose? What is my big why? Because now I know who I am and I know what I want. Before I didn't know that. And if I look back, I'm still doing the same job. I still do marketing. I still I still do digital market. I still work for a big corporation, even though I to I told myself never again in a big corporation. But now I do it with a different uh, awareness, a different understanding. I don't believe my values have changed a lot uh, before and after. Uh, what I believe has changed has been my understanding of my own values. Before I was talking about values without taking the time uh, uh, to reflect about what they really meant to me. Now I know what they mean and I live according to that. And if I need to score them, I would say on top three I would put unity. Um, and why I say unity is because uh, I have realized now more than ever um, that I'm a connector. <laughs> I love connecting people. That is my true strength, my true natural talent. I'm still in a journey in trying to understand how to translate uh, uh, this ability into a real, uh, a real job. Uh, but definitely I can see that unity as a value comes out uh, even stronger when I have the possibility to, to connect people, to understand who I have in front, 
um, what's uh, his or her problem, uh, challenge, struggle, and how I can uh, um, help uh, Unity has uh, become uh, even stronger in the past few years. And definitely the ABBF communities and the ABBF members have helped me in that, being uh, Unity as one of the core values of the organization. got to know ABBF back in 2006, so it's, oh my God, 14 years ago. My first interaction uh, were in Italy, working for um, a student organization, ISEC, uh, and one of the EBBF uh, founding members, Beto Roviati, introduced me to EBBF. And since then, well, it has been love at the first sight. Since then, I've been a passive and an active member throughout the 14 years. Uh, uh, being part of the volunteering group in, in different occasions and helping the organization. But the beauty of it has been realizing that um, EBBF is my source of energy. If I think back about my darkest moments in my career, when my work was actually draining all my energy, EBBF as a network, as a community, was the space where I was regaining that positive energy uh, that I needed then to, to go back to my actual work. I have met um, amazing people that have inspired me. And when I'm part of EBBF, I feel I'm not alone. I'm not alone in this journey uh, in making the world a better place. So many inspiring stories of people that actually put values into action. It's not only about talking about what we can do for the world, people that have actually made a concrete change in this world. Every time I feel down or every time I feel not, I cannot do it, uh, uh, I cannot make it. Well, I know that there have been hundreds of people that have passed through EBBF in the past uh, 14 years that have actually made it. And if they have done it, uh, why not? Currently, I'm, I'm supporting EBBF uh, as a um, member service. In the past, I've been supporting EBBF in the organization of the international events. So totally different experience, but uh, the same energy, the same passion. Uh, I do try to, uh, to make them feel uh, welcome and introducing them uh, to the community. And why I'm doing that is uh, it's mainly because I want other people to have the same unique and amazing opportunity I have had throughout this year, you know. I, I want people to know about this organization and I want them to have the opportunity to uh, to change their life as much as uh, uh, I've been changing my own. So EBBF has been for me a, a life-changing experience and I know it can be the same life-changing experience to so many other people. It's just uh, it's just a pleasure to, to be in touch with the members, understanding what are their struggles and understanding how other members in the community can support the new ones or the current members to solve their problems or sometimes to become even uh, even stronger, even more confident about what they can offer to these wars. So the, the, the amazing part of this job is really, again, connecting people, you know, finding the possibility to connect people and make them flourish even more. Members often uh, feel alone when it comes to uh, making a change or trying to make a change in their current organization. I would say most of the members still work in, uh, in a traditional uh, workplace and in a traditional corporation. Uh, and they are aware about their values. Uh, they know they want to make a change, uh, but often they work in a corporation that doesn't allow that. It doesn't allow them to be themselves, to talk about uh, values, to talk about spirituality, to talk about ethic. They don't have a platform to, to share uh, and have a, a deep conversation about how can we do, how can we put into practice this process uh, uh, in a different way? How can we be more meaningful in the way we deliver services or products to our clients? Uh, so they feel a, a little bit lonely in this process uh, and I hope to find in EBBF uh, the source of energy and inspiration. I think many members also have uh, the difficulties to understand uh, uh, how to put uh, into practice uh, those values. Maybe they have 
grown up in a very spiritual environment where a lot of deep conversation are their daily bread, how we say in Italy, you know. But there is a difference between talking about values and there is a difference in putting them into practice. So I think there are many members that uh, are struggling. And then there's a, a lot of other members that maybe work in a very uh, niche type of industry uh, and, and they feel alone in this journey. So they are looking for other people in their, in their industry that have gone maybe through the same uh, journey or are about to go through the same journey. So they are looking, like, uh, they are looking for companions. <laughs> I'm struggling as well on a daily basis. Uh, it's not an easy journey. It's a, it's a life, uh, life journey, you know? Uh, and, and still today, I'm struggling understanding what is my, my big why, uh, my real purpose in life. It's, it's a continuous journey, priority change in life, and together with priorities, also your purpose in life. Uh, and now, now I'm struggling with it. I'm, I'm still trying to investigate uh, how can I can contribute to this world? I love my current job because it gives me uh, freedom, flexibility, uh, the possibility to um, to give priority to to my health and my well-being. But still, I feel I'm not having a, a meaningful and positive impact, uh, or not to that extent I would like. Uh, it's, a, it's a daily internal struggle trying to understand how how can I be more uh, impactful. Um, I often find myself talking, 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 but then when it's uh, it's time to put into practice and and be action oriented, I, I'm still struggling to find uh, confidence, confidence in uh, in my skills, uh, in my talents, uh, and to value the person I am. And I'm struggling also to have uh, those conversations with those people that maybe are not sensitive enough to ethic, to spirituality, to values. Um, it, it's not easy to have this type of conversation uh, with people that are not used to it, you know, with those people that maybe have been in, in an organization, in a big organization for the past 25, 30 years that have always been running business in the same way. They are very confident in the way they've been running business and they are not open to listen to a new way of doing. And there I struggle because I would love to help them uh, looking at uh, business um, in a, with different eyes, with a different perspective, and I still don't find the, the words, I still don't find the confidence, you know, uh, to drive them uh, into my side of this world. If I should talk with my younger self, uh, I would tell I would tell Martina to be to be more more confident to really surround herself to the right uh, group of people to the right network to really take time since uh, a um, very young age to understand uh, her values her principles and really try to stay connected to that uh, to hold uh, and the values throughout all the different experiences, maybe university, maybe a student organization experience can be the first uh, job, you know, uh, try to hold in those values. And also I would tell Martina to be to be patient. I remember when entering the, the corporate world for the first time, I wanted to change the world. I arrived with a lot of energy thanks to uh, my experience in, in ISEC, the student organization, thanks to EBBF that already was there next to me, supporting me in this journey. And I entered the corporate world and said, I'm going to change the world. <laughs> And then, then you face reality and then you understand that uh, you are not alone, but pretty much you are in this journey. So I would tell Martina to, to be patient and not try to change the world, but try to change your surrounding. Start from your neighbor, start from your colleague sitting uh, next to you, start from your, your own team. And once you, you realize you have a positive impact, uh, 
and the people uh, near you, you will see that, that that will work like a snowball. You will have an impact. They will be inspired and they will have an impact in another person. And that's how big changes uh, happen, you know, not trying to change the world, but trying to uh, support uh, or inspire uh, the change of that one person sitting next to you. I'm really trying to contribute to a better future with very few concrete tasks, you know. There is an amazing uh, group of people here in Malaga that meet once a month uh, uh, and they go out and, and, and clean the beach and clean uh, the neighborhood and collect plastic. That's my contribution number one. I, I, do, I do believe in my values much more and I'm not afraid of uh, sharing my values and say no when I need to say no in my working environment. I had this uh, struggle many times in the past few months, but I've learned to say no because the things that go um, against my values are not worthy. So that's my little contribution. I, I do have a lot of conversation uh, with younger people and trying to inspire them and simply share my stories so that it becomes uh, relevant uh, to them as well. Support uh, ABBF and I will continue doing that because uh, there, there is uh, more need for for volunteers. So, so uh, if you have a few hours spare time during the week, do apply to become a volunteer of ABBF that we need you, we need your energy uh, and your uh, inspiring story. In my previous experience, I was not uh, able to see the impact I was having in the world. I was very negative uh, because I thought that the, your, the corporation, the organization I was working for was not doing enough. Uh, uh, and I was uh, finger pointing quite a lot to the organization without realizing that uh, I could have my own impact through my daily work independently from the final vision or the mission of the organization. So I found myself uh, finger pointing at others instead of looking inside. And now that I have a better understanding of who I am and what I stand for, I find that it's easier to work for some organization that maybe are not fully aligned with my values because I know that uh, an organization can maybe just be a tool for me to achieve something bigger. And once I know who I am and how I want to act and how I want to work, the organization, the corporation, uh, it's just a tool. It's just a tool for me to achieve my, my vision and my mission and my objective.